What's good y'all Riley Beats here and today today we're gonna be doing another beat fix video you guys like the last one so hopefully you like this one too uh, if you could leave a like comment and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated let's get right into it we got this first one from Bill Shu I, I kind of cheated I kind of gave it a little hint of a listen already so shout out to you honestly for making this melody with so like nothing but stock because it kind of goes clean like it's kind of hard the mix is terrible but the melody is kind of good Alright, not bad, but there are definitely some things we need to tweak. And first and foremost, your melody is just way, way too loud. So I'm gonna just dump this into a track just because why not? I'm gonna loop it with the drums for a second just to get like kind of a good grasp of where I think the drums should be hitting or where I think the melody should be hitting. You have a whole video in here too? Sheesh! It went hard. Alright, let's just turn this down now. Second thing I'm noticing is your hi hats are ridiculously quiet. I don't know why. What is that about? It seems like it's just your sample being really quiet. You have these two snares layered together. No. Mmm, okay, I found the culprit. What? Oh, you just compressed this. Wow. When you compress it, though, it makes it very perceptually loud, so I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. Nice. Let's look at the 808 pattern. There's something I want to change here. But when it comes in, there's just, I don't know what it is. I just want a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean I just want it to go... That's clean, I like this. You have like a riser in here kind of, it, it sounds like. But I'm gonna throw in another riser because I feel like it's just not hitting enough. Look, like that would fit. And then let's put like an impact on there. I don't have it in here. Weird, but okay. I say we put an impact here just to add a little bit more when the drop comes in, just because it's dropping back in. Also, the hi-hat pattern is like way too stale. And I don't even think we need to do a lot. Let's just do like a cut on there and there. That's pretty much it. I think that would add a lot of bounce to the hi-hat pattern. So I'm gonna throw in a clap here because I feel like it's a little bit too stale. Let's throw this clap in. Whoa, let's uh, bring the snare and clap back together because there's a complete lack of volume and depth. Maybe even make it unique. Oh, 
let's bring the 808 back in. It feels like you're doing a little bit too much with arrangement, but it's not bad to be honest with you. Oh, you have a bass there. We can't do that. I'm just gonna fade out your intro or your outro. I mean, my bad. Pretty much, here's the full thing. All right, let's move on to the next one. So I'm missing everything pretty much, but you exported the things that I'm missing, so this kind of works out. Let's give this one a listen. I didn't cheat this time, so don't worry. So I'm a little bit confused here because just one thing I'm noticing is your soft clipper. The threshold is at negative two and a half decibels. If we turn off everything after like soft clipper, everything that comes after, you'll see here your master is not hitting at that even close to that level. It's close. It's a little bit closer than what I, what I was saying, but there's no point like it's not clipping. Like the soft clipper is doing almost nothing. And this genuinely seems like a case of over mixing. Well, you have a soft clipper in the beginning too. Whoa! What? Your threshold is negative 25. Oof. Negative 25 decibels. Just mute everything. Okay, it's not that bad, but like. I don't know what to think. This mix, you just, this is a new level of over mixing because wow, I don't have the RC20 on here. You know what, this, this melody is kind of clean. This is X-Band. I would assume it's X-Band because the vocal is somatics, but I just want to know why everything is so quiet. Wow. Like genuinely, the mix isn't bad. It's just you did a lot and then you got a really quiet mix and it just doesn't really hit because it's so quiet. Like the beat is fire. I love the beat. The mix is just it's mostly just your master, to be honest with you. And it's borderline like you don't have a lot going on in all these channels. Everything's like ridiculously quiet. I didn't turn up my speakers. Wow, where's the kick? Yeah, so I'm just reversing the polarity because it sounds a little bit off. Like, it just sounds like it's clashing to me. So that'll help out with that. 
You're forgetting I have so much stuff muted. Honestly, we could just turn everything up and it would sound a lot better. I used to have this. I used to have Yuli and loudness meter. Here's my, my opinion on luffs, okay? I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Don't master based on luffs because that's not... Spotify doesn't go off of negative 12 luffs or negative 14 luffs, etc. You know, uh, there's a lot of misinformation about that. Don't buy into it. You listen to a song, it'll sound a lot louder than this. Honestly, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. The mix overall is fine, it's good. It's mostly just coming down to you're doing way too much on the master. And I really feel like the mixing based off of luffs or mastering based off of luffs is holding you back a fair bit, just based on the volume here. But here's the full thing. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you want to submit a beat for these beat fix videos, all the information for that will be down in the description below. And again, thank you. Peace.